Hi children, hola welcome to Appai ICT Pandir. Today we are going to start the third video of our first lesson. Our first lesson is the central processing unit. Teacher has uploaded two videos related to this lesson part 1 and part 2. In the part 1 and part 2 videos, I have discussed what is CPU, where is it located, and what are the components of CPU like ALU, CU, and memory register. Then we have discussed about clock speed. So please watch all the videos. And before moving to today's video, please subscribe teacher's channel, APICT Panthia channel. Then you can able to notify when teacher uploaded a new video. Okay, today video, we are going to discuss about new evolution of central processing unit. Evolution of central processing unit. In Sinhala, Madhya Sakasumeka ke parinama Evolution. Okay. Our ancient people use stones, pearls, piece of woods, uh, stones of animals to do some calculations. Calculation like adding, subtraction, likewise. But when people are de people develop themselves, they used to use some machines to do their calculations. They have developed some machines to do their calculations. Small, small machines instead of using their fingers, stones and other things that they are found from their surrounding. Okay. I think you are, you will write your notes while you are watching the video. So, our beginner people use fingers, stones and wood pieces to do their calculation. Ape mudum mitu pute, gamiti kati yutu sandha pavi chikaraya ati te di, one of the fingers, stones and wood pieces. When the human developed, they have made many machines to do their calculations. Means they even with the machines hadua to do their calculation. Nyalage. So, from the machines they have built to do their calculation, we have, condi we have considered the abacus as the first machine. The first machine made to do calculations is known as abacus. Abacus, yeah, abacus. Uh, Okay, I, I think you have already saw this in your school when you are doing mathematics in grade 2 or 3 classes. This is called abacus, abacus and this is considered as, make a this is considered as the first machine and consider as the Foundation to build the computer. Parigana ke hadana aditala. Mulika aditala. Consider as the foundation to build the computer. So now we are going to learn about a special person called Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage is considered as father of computer. Father of computer. Then you have to remember this. Charles Babbage is the father of computer. Parigana ke piya ke anne Charles Babbage ke na putgala. Why? What is the reason for giving this title for this person? Ay me aata me title leke dunne. Me naame dunne ay. Why? He has built, he has developed two machines and those machines are considered as the uh, computers. Those machines are considered as the computers. Or those machines, the concept 
used in these com these machines are you used to build the modern computers ai api me me putgalata me name duni what's the reason the reason is hetu thamai pute this person has built a two machine me machines deka kaduwa the concept used in these two machines me machines deka adarne paavichchi karapu sankalpaye thamai is used in modern computers other api vartamane paavichchi karana विश्लेषकिन See this picture. From the beginning, there is a kind of machine, but we can't identify it as a uh, computer that you have see uh, in these days. In the left, and you can see a question mark in the right side corner. It means tomorrow. or near future we cannot predict uh the shape and how the computer will be question mark yak dal din nai anagate di pariganake kohoma veida kiyana api danne nai the shape and the capacity api we don't know how it will be that's why we have put a question mark so evolution was computer how the computer change from ancient time to today world how it change from ancient to today so we are going to discuss how it change based on the technology used to develop the central processing unit api dan yanne puthe निर्माणेकूद Okay, you can write down this topic. The central processing unit can be divided into four generations based on the electronic technology used to manufacture it. The central processing unit can be divided into four generations based on the electronic technology used to manufacture it. मैनुफैक्चर में निर्माणे कराना हादन मध्य सक्षम में क्योंकि हादन बाविता कर पु इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ताक्षण है मूली के घर के नापी परंपरा हाथ रखे फोर जेनरेशंस वाले बेदान नहीं सोधाना बेन जेनरेशंस जेनरेशंस में पुता इन सिंगल वी कॉल्ड एस परंपरा जेनरेशंस परंपरा यू नो Uh, your grandparents generation the per the generation of your grandparents and then generation of your mother or generation of your parents then generation of yours generation of your uh, children oyalage athamala siyalage parampara oyalage ammala taathalage parampara इट पास ओयालगे परंपरा ओयालगे पास ओयालगे दारू दारी होंगे परंपरा दे बेस्ड ऑन द टाइम पीरियड वी हैव डिवाइडेड इनटू जेनरेशंस योर ग्रैंड पेरेंट जेनरेशंस योर पेरेंट जेनरेशंस योरस जेनरेशन लाइकवाइज सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द कंप्यूटर जेनरेशंस फर्स्ट जेनरेशन आई हैव टोल्ड यू पुता we are going to gen to divide into generations based on the 
electronic technology used to develop the CPU. Madhi Sakasumika ke hadan na pavita karapu taakshini anuatama bhi varga karan. So what is the technology used in the first generation is vacuum tube. Now you can see the vacuum tube. So in the second generation, instead of the vacuum tube, we used transistors. See, this is the picture of a transistor. Then in the third generation, instead of the transistors, we have used ICs in integrated circuits. Integrated circuit ICs in singular anukalita paripata. See, this is a IC integrated circuit. In the fourth generation, instead of the IC, they have used microprocessor. See, this is a microprocessor. In the first generation, vacuum tube, second generation, transistor. Third generation integrated circuit, fourth generation microprocessor. In your textbook, there are four generations, and we are going to study about these generations deeply. But there is another generation also, fifth generation. It is called as artificial intelligence. Krutima Buddhi. It means in the near future. It discusses about the future, the com how the computers will be in the future. It means robotics, likewise. So you have to learn about first four generations. First generation vacuum tubes in single rita kanala. In the second generation transistor, transistor here. In the third generation ICs, integrated circuit, anukalita paripata. The fourth generation microprocessor. You know, Shudra Sakasaneke. So, we are going to discuss about these things deeply. In the first generation, computers in the first generation, 1942 1956, it is the time period, used vacuum tube. You know, in the first generation, we have used vacuum tube. Lots of heat, tapir vadi, heavy power consumption, viduli paribojane vadi, as large as a room, kambarak taram lokui, evagema, then execution speed is kriyatnakavege, execution speed is measured in millisecond, execution speed is measured in millisecond. Mili tapara valinta mai kriyatma kwege manini. Cost. It cost a lot for production and maintenance. In the first generation computers, they are very large. They are very large and it produces a lot of heat. Lot of heat. Heat. Tapia pitagarana. And high power consumption. High power consumption. And it is it uh, it is uh, its execution speed is millisecond and it is it uh, it it take a lot of cost for production and maintenance see this is a vacuum tube and for a computer they have used millions of vacuum tube to develop a computer now you can see a uh, here you can see a computer made with the vacuum tube so you have to uh, remember those things what are the computers developed using vacuum tubes any act univac edvac any act univac edvac we have you have to remember those names ENIAC, UNIVAC, EDVAC. So, I will show you a picture of ENIAC, UNIVAC and EDVAC computers. First, ENIAC. 
this is a electronic numerical integrator and computer see you can see a picture then edvac computer see this is a edvac computer it is a large computer and univac see this is a univac computer in the first generation univac edvac computers are built using a vacuum tube when it comes to the second generation instead of vacuum tube they have used transistors computer generation in computers in second generation 1956 to 1963 in the second generation which we compared with the first generation it's low heat low power consumption smaller size and low cost when we compare it with the first generation low high heat is low power consumption is low smaller in size and low cost and the execution speed is measured in microsecond now you can see the picture of a transistor transistor the, co the computers made using transistors IBM 7030 CDC 1 in the, in, in the second generation when we compare with the first generation low heat low power consumption smaller size low cost and also the execution speed is measured in microsecond in first generation execution speed measured in millisecond okay i think you are writing the notes okay okay here you can see the picture of a transistor now you are going to learn about the computers that are made using transistors ibm 7030 CDC 1604 see this is the IBM 7030 computer and this is CDC 1604 computer you have to remember those names now we are going to learn about the third generation in the third generation, we used integrated circuit in short terms IC. Low heat, low power consumption, smaller size, high reliability and low cost when we compare to the second generation. Devana Parampara Vipsa, me computer Radsa, sure low cost, low heat, low power consumption, smaller in size. High reliability, reliability means which version is there. And the execution speed measured in nanosecond, measured in nanosecond. Here you can see the integrated circuits. You can see the computers made using integrated circuit. We are going to learn about what are the computers made using integrated circuit. IBM 360 CDC 6600 IBM 360 CDC 6600 here you can see IBM 360 computer and this is IBM 360 computer now we are going to learn about computers in fourth generation 1975 to present 1975 to present Adi what is the technology used is microprocessor microprocessor is made using thousands of integrated circuits 
you have to remember this and what are when we compare to the third generation low heat low power consumption smaller in size higher reliability and low cost and the execution speed is measured in picosecond picosecond see this is the microprocessor microprocessor this is the this is the technology we use in today's computer and see the example desktop laptop notebook ultrabook those are the example for the fourth generation computers and this is the fifth generation it means artificial intelligence kutima buddhi and uh, we know in the first generation computers execution speed measured in mic millisecond in the second generation it is microsecond in the third generation it is you measured in nanosecond and the fourth generation it is measured in picosecond see millisecond is 1.001 second microsecond is 1.0.000001 second it means millisecond microsecond nanosecond picosecond it is a portion of a second tapparekin kotasa when we compare to the first generation to fourth generation in the fourth generations execution speed is very high very high and the unit is pico second in the fourth generation computers okay from here we are going to stop the first lesson in the first lesson we learned about cpu cpu is cpu and what is cpu where is it is located and what are the uh, main components what is how is the clock speed and about the generation it means evolution of the computers shall we move to the uh, move to your exercise book okay now uh, take out to exercise book and do the activity 1.3 by pause in this video okay please do the activity 1.3 Pause the video and do the exercise. Okay, I think you have done the exercise. I'll go to correct it. Okay, activity one point three. Complete the following table related to evolution of the central processing unit. There is a table. Generations, technology used, electric consumptions unit, which measures. Processing speed. Okay, we we know about the technologies. In the first generation, we use vacuum tube. In the second generation, we use transistors. In the third generation, we use integrated circuits. And the fourth generation, we use microprocessor. and the electric consumption is high low when in the second generation electric consumption consumption is low when 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 we compare to the first generation in the third generation electric consumption is low when compared to 
second generation in the fourth generation electric consumption is low when we compare to the third generation and the unit which measures processing speed is in the first generation it is millisecond in second generation it is microsecond and the third generation it is nanosecond in the fourth generation picosecond you can put correct mark if your answers are correct second questions name the following technology name the following technology used to construct the central processing unit for following computers the first one is a tablet second one is a laptop and the third one is a desktop all these three computers you can see in our day to day life so i think your answers will be microprocessor for the first one for a laptop it's a microprocessor for desktop it's a microprocessor all the computers belong to four generation okay so with the activity 1.3 we are going to wind up the video we will meet you again with our second uh, second lesson it is operating system so please subscribe teachers channel and share these videos with your friends we will meet again bye all of you